I welcome to all on the course of refrigeration and air conditioning. In the last video, we have started the types of evaporator and we have covered the bare coil type evaporator. Now, I am going to explain another two types of evaporator. So, first I am starting from the thinned evaporator. The thin evaporator consists of bare tube or the coil over which the metal plates are fastened. The metal fins are constructed, here observe the metal fins are constructed of thin sheet of metal having good thermal conductivity. And the shape and the size or the spacing of the fin can be adapted to provide the best of heat transfer for a given application. Since the fins increases the contact surface for the heat transfer, therefore the fin evaporator is also known as extended surface evaporator and this type of thin evaporator are primarily designed for air conditioning application where the refrigerator temperature is above the 0 degree Celsius. Because of the rapid heat transfer of thin evaporator and the thin evaporator should not never allow to force because of accumulation of force between the fins reduce the capacity and thus the gap between the fins very small that is about 3 mm. So this is all about the thin type evaporator. Let's come to the last type that is the cell and tube type evaporator. Why it is cell and tube type evaporator? Because of here the liquid is passed through the chill, a liquid is passed through the cell and the refrigerant is passed through the tube. That's why the name as cell and tube type evaporator. The cell and tube type evaporator is similar to the cell and tube type condenser in the last video I shown to you. This the cell and tube type cell and tube type evaporator consists of number of horizontal tubes enclosed in a cylindrical cell. The inlet and the outlet header with perforated metal tubes 6 are connected at each end of the tube. The tubes are the these evaporators are generally used to chill water or the barrel solution. And here the depending upon the direction of flow of the refrigerant of the cell, the tube type evaporator, there is two types, one is dry expansion type, another is the flooded type evaporator. Before going to that part, I want to tell something in this about in this figure. So here you observe in this figure, you are using the, first is the thermostatic expansion valve. Already I told about this thermostatic expansion valve. This valve controls the amount of refrigerant released into the evaporator. And this is also known as the metering device. And this valve is responsible release the liquid refrigerant to the low pressure 
sector of the system and it does not react the temperature such as capillary heat so after that you are observing the baffles the baffle give the direction to flow the liquid so the baffle the gap between the baffle that decide how much water will pass through it if maximum water to flow in the cell and mm, through the cell so gap should to be increased let's come to the types of cell and tube type evaporator the first is the dry expansion type evaporator in the dry expansion type evaporator the refrigerant circulate through the tubes and the liquid to be to be cooled fill the space around the tube within the cell so inside the tube refrigerant will be flow and surrounding this tube the water will flow and this dry expansion cell <laughs> evaporator are used for refrigerating units from 2 to 250 tons capacity then in next last part that is the flooded type evaporator flooded type cell and the evaporator this flooded type flooded flooded type evaporator the water or the barine flow through the tubes and the refrigerant circulate around the tubes inside the cell and the flooded cell tube type evaporator are used for refrigeration unit from 10 to 5000 ton of capacity so the flooded type evaporator used for more refrigeration capacity from 10 to 50000 5000 ton of refrigeration capacity but this uh, dry expansion only 2 to 250 ton capacity so in this video we are in the last series of video we are completed the chapter 4 in the chapter 4 you are completed the uh, compressor and types of compressor and the centrifugal uh, reciprocating compressor rotary compressor centrifugal compressor both working principle and the construction detail that is the first topic of the chapter 4 then second topic of the chapter 4 is the condenser then the working principle of condenser and the types of condenser also we are covered and the last topic the evaporator and the working principle of evaporator and in the types of evaporator we are cover the uh, thin type you may bear bear tube coil evaporator and a thin type evaporator and the cell tube type evaporator so we are cover the chapter 4 uh, thank you